Okay, we're back here live at HP Discover. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, to have my co-host Dave Vellante, and we have a special guest, newly promoted CUBE alumni. CUBE alumni get promoted, that's what we've been noticing, Dave. <laughs> it Tom, helps, Tom it helps Joyce. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to theCUBE. So, so um, SVP, general manager, Converge Systems. That's What's, correct, yeah. Uh, so tell us about the new role and new opportunity. So it's only about six weeks ago. We announced a, uh, a new business unit reporting into uh, Dave Donatelli. Uh, we had gone and um, consolidated the industry standard server business and the business continuance server business into one HP server organization. And in the process of doing that, made the decision to put a really significant focus on the next, in the next wave of converged infrastructure, which is uh, about really tightly integrated purpose-built systems, include server storage, networking, and you know, various software assets that we've got to build a whole new product line. And so we spun out a new business unit called Converse Systems, and I'm, I'm running that. So the trend, the trend we've been hearing in the industry is, you know, break down the silos. I think Dave wrote a blog post um, on his uh, Wikibon yep. about that uh, two years ago, and so this is a new division. So Donatelli set this division up, right? Yes, he did. So this yeah. is basically like all servers? Well, it's got- cloud, or? The server division is still building the servers. The pieces that I have are really going to bring together uh, servers, storage, networking, and we've also got a, a very significant uh, software development organization, because the, the management software that's required to do this requires really a ground up you know, new approach to how you do cross domain management. And so um, we're really fortunate that we have a uh, strong VP of engineering, a fellow named Philip Tamer, who uh, I worked with for, for years over at EMC, and he's now part of our, our organization, and he owns building that. And that's where a lot of the IP is going to be, is, is a management environment that's really seamless across server storage networking uh, to bring those pieces together and kind of just build a whole new product line around So Mark, Mark Potter gave a talk yesterday, and Dave and I did the, the Cube at the Moonshot launch, and he said, we're going to think differently about service. What does that mean? Because what you're basically, what I'm hearing you say is that we're going to look at it differently and not be product centric in terms of like all these different product lines. You kind of got a new attack vector. What is that? What is that new way? And, and, and what's your view on the market? And what 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 vector are you taking? Well, I think there are there are two things. Um, I think what Mark was talking about uh, was uh, was a lot around Moonshot. You know, Moonshot is a revolutionary new server technology. Um, but it's very much about how you can uh, drive more in specific workloads. And the more you look at where the customers are today, they are thinking about IT in terms of what their workloads are and how they optimize those most effectively. And an awful lot of this transition to Moonshot, which will give you 89% you know, better, lower power, and a lot of other you know, benefits, is really understanding how you can use that technology around certain workloads. And the same thing is true on, on the side that I'm responsible for, which is this converged systems business. You know, four years ago, Dave Donatelli started to talk about converged infrastructure. And the last four years has really been about how do you build those technologies into servers and into the storage. And so we did that in, with the three part uh, product line that we, we brought, brought out. Is we built a lot of converged infrastructure technology into it. But now these customers are coming back and saying, okay, okay, we heard you, we've listened to HP, we've listened to other people too about converged infrastructure for the last you know, four something years. But now we want to buy these things fully converged. More and more customers are saying, I'm trying to deal with these new workloads. I have too many things coming at me to be in the system integration business myself anymore. I want to buy the whole thing configured so I can get it, install it in a matter of weeks, and it's going to help me with some of these new problems like, what am I going to do about big data? What am I going to do about SAP HANA? What am I going to do about all this virtualization stuff that I need to kind of manage in the, in the overall growth of that? And, and, and of course, the big one is the transition to cloud. More and more of these customers are saying, I, now I understand why I need private cloud technology in my data center, but I want somebody to deliver that all to me in a way that I don't have to figure this out myself. So your charter is to accelerate adoption of anything converged within the HP portfolio, is that yeah, right? Yeah, so well, for example, not that, anything, there's particular okay. areas. It's, it's these hard problems, okay. you know, like quote unquote big data. You know? So we're looking at Vertica and saying, how can we build converged systems around Vertica to help customers adopt that 
more more rapidly. You know, both for our, our benefit, the channel's benefit, but especially for these customers that say, look, I I understand the value. You know, when, when we engage with Vertica, we win about 90% of the time, but we've got to make it easier for customers to be able to adopt the technology, and that's what these converged systems are going to be. So what's 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 in there? What's not like that? Is that mini baby Gen 8 micro server? Is that part of your portfolio? Yeah. Or? So um, right. that is going to be a part of it. You know, the good thing is we, cool. we have a tremendous um, number of assets that we can work with, and, and that um, that moonshot uh, product line as that rolls out. And as the next, uh, as the roadmap kind of makes itself known, there's a lot of stuff that we can work with to, to do more with Vertica, to do more with many of these other, you know. So you're in, 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 in parts of like a super integrator. Yep. Uh, and then it sounds like you're developing potentially some of your own IP based on yes. market requirements related yep. to converged infrastructure. Yeah. I think where the IP comes in is there's a lot of IP that's not baked into the components. Uh, our, our IP is uh, in two places. One, that management technology. So we have, a, a, frankly, a large group of engineers that they're the people that built Matrix. They're now building the next generation of man management built on Matrix. And that's the glue that holds all these things together. Because you've got to, at the end of the day, what we need to provide to customers is, a, is not just a seamless management experience across those server storage networking domains, but a heck of a lot smarter. And the ability to federate that managed so you can handle cloud scale kinds of applications. You know, the overall scale of, you know, some of these Hadoop implementations or some of these SAP HANA implementations, it's big. And, you know, that bigness kind of breaks the traditional management paradigm for a lot of customers. So that's the two places that our, our IP is going to go is things that are built into the platforms and then how we bring them together with a seamless experience. So I talked to John about Meg's keynote yesterday. You gave her, you know, it's a very high marks, John. Uh, uh, you know, the, the stock's up, right? Everybody's happy about that, but you guys aren't high-fiving that because you know there's a lot of work to do. And I've said, Tom, you know, in many respects, if you look around HP, you know, many, many divisions, many parts of the company have to shrink before they can grow, and it just seems to me you're, you're really challenge within Enterprise Group is you got a lot of pieces that are shrinking, a lot of pieces that are growing, and you got to throw gasoline on the fire on the pieces that are growing. It yeah. seems like that's your role here. Is that well, fair? that is, and you know, to be quite frank with you, that was our role in the storage business too. Um, so three years ago, we went into a scenario where we were we had lost market share. We had an older product line, and customers were confused about what we were doing, and for good reason. And um, you know, we've kind of completely turned that on its head. And I think what we did then is very similar to what Meg has done for the whole company, which is to try to set expectations to say, look, you don't throw a switch and make these things happen overnight. She has said from the beginning, this is going to be a four or five year transition. And you might recall that you know, when I sat in the cube three years ago and we started to talk about what are we doing with three part, we said this is going to be a transition. Because we had to grow that while we're basically winding down the things that you know, we're not going to invest in anymore and customers don't want anymore. And so you know, until those lines cross, it's not entirely clear to the market analysts and you know, wh where the growth has come from. But if you look at what we did with three part, uh, especially with this uh, 7,000 product that we brought out uh, at the end of last year. We, we are now in a position where we've got that thing simple, it's priced to market, customers understand it, it's new technology, and it's growing at an extraordinary rate. I mean, you, you may remember, because the numbers were public, with 3 par the, uh, the business when we bought it, including product and services and everything, was about 190 million. Right. And yeah, now we're, you know, well, you know, we're billion, Donatelli said right? a billion dollar run rate um, now on 3 par Right, so it, if we it, can do that again, in some of these other problems like big data and HANA and, and yeah, yeah. Vertica. So I got I got I got to ask the, that's the, that's my mission. Right. Okay, so I got I got to ask you cuz you know HP always has, you know, the cloud system was involved in Bonatelli and all these little pockets of of offerings. You're a GM. You have to deliver. Yeah. And HP GM is a big deal. So you're going to be under the gun to produce value in terms of revenue. What are you attacking? What market specifically are you going after? Obviously, you have to go into the product groups with Gontier Potter and across yep. different companies and, and, and put that together. What beachhead are you going after? Where are you going to land and expand on? Well, you know, we're picking those market opportunities based on what the customers tell us they want to do. You know, there's there's a lot of different things you could do. You could focus on security appliances, and you, know, you could focus on video surveillance appliances. There's a lot of things that people are interested in doing, but we're going after pretty much the list that I said. We're going to focus on private cloud, take that thousand customers today that are using cloud system and make it a lot easier and a lot simpler for a lot more people to buy more cloud system. The second one is virtual infrastructure. Uh, you know, the, the rate of adoption of, of you know, VMware, Hyper-V, technologies like KVM, 
is, is still accelerating. So there's a lot of opportunity there and a lot of demand from customers and channel partners for products in that space that are just simple, well integrated, and easy to work with. And the third one is, you know, the, the buzzwords big data, but in, in there underneath that, there's a couple of different major use cases. SAP HANA is one. You got, we've got you know, 40, 47,000 SAP customers that are all trying to figure out how can I get over to HANA? And so we're gonna build a solution around that. We've got some of that today and we have a lot more coming. We're gonna do a lot with Vertica and I think that there's a lot we're gonna be able to do with Hadoop. And so those are the big areas that we're focused on right now. And what's the expansion plan internally in terms of headcount, sales force? You're going to handle the go-to-market, so that means yep. you've got to build out a sales force. Existing sales force, what are you thinking there? Well, you know, I think that there's two parts of it. So if we do make it simpler, uh, we do make it uh, easier to understand, easy to, easier to work with, a lot more people ought to be able to sell it. So what I would like to do is I want to work through the specialists we have today, uh, the CI team, we have folks that know an awful lot about cloud, uh, but really we want to be able to get all of the HP Enterprise Group uh, sales people to be able to be effective with this. And, and probably the second part of it, and perhaps more important, uh, is the channel. You know, the channel partners that we have today have been with HP an awfully long time. They've been very, very successful with, uh, with our server business. A lot of them have adopted uh, three part, and they're coming back to us and saying, you know, what can you do next? Give me something else. Give me something else to sell. So we're going to be very focused on doing that and leveraging their expertise. We had, we had AppNet on yesterday. They were very clear that, hey, you know, we've seen this movie before in client server, and uh, and they see the services opportunity on top of it pretty compelling. So yep. in terms of a channel partner, I mean, it's profitable. Yeah, I think you know the major distributors like uh, like Avnet and Arrow and, uh, and certainly Tech Data and, and a few others. You know, they, they've been asking us for you know new product lines that can help them do more in and again those those exact areas, virtual infrastructure, uh, Hana. They want us, and, and I've had a lot of those meetings here over the last couple of days. And they want solutions that they can move a lot of, that they can you know, they can make their businesses more effective and get more influence with their customers. So that's going to be key. To Tom, us. what about this uh, you know, open source big groundswell right now, open source software, and John and I have been talking a lot in SiliconANGLE Wikibon about this notion of, of infrastructure not as a box but as a platform yeah. that you can enable you know, things like big data analytics using utilizing Vertica, you know, providing a platform for ISVs to actually come in and exploit it and add value you know, beyond what you guys can even do. Uh, has that something that sort of entered the, the discussion at, at HP at this point? Well, one, yes, it has, you know, I, I think in a couple of key ways. So you said a couple of things I, I would just point out. One is that, you know, open source is clearly, you know, a model that gives everybody a lot of leverage. You know, we've made a big commitment to it. In particular, um, we've made a big commitment to OpenStack, and we're one of the the top um, technology partners that's working with OpenStack. And so one of the things that we just did here at this event is we announced something called uh, Cloud OS. And Cloud OS is not a product, uh, it's effectively an OpenStack distribution, kind of an OpenStack kernel that you know we can use in a variety of ways. And we've adopted that into cloud system now. So our private cloud, our cloud system offering, the one that we've got a thousand customers out there that I'm now responsible for, it, it is compatible with, with OpenStack. And what you'll see going forward is more and more leverage of that. And it gives us better you know, velocity in terms of, we, the more we can leverage there, the better. And it gives the customers a, a whole set of alternatives that have a different set of economics than buying from the traditional software vendors. So, so that's huge. Um, I think the second part of it is that we are, we are using that leverage to focus our attention on how do we do next generation management? How do we uh, you know, bring a lot of value to customers that the open source community maybe doesn't do quite so well. So the marriage of you know, our IP and our you know, partnership with the open source community, especially around OpenStack, is a pretty powerful trend for us. Going yeah, on. I mean, the management today is, is siloed. It's, you know, you have metadata locked up in the box. Yep. You guys are doing some cool stuff with Flash. You could see bubbling that up you know, into that environment, making it a shared resource and, and allowing policy to be you know, more dynamic than yep. it is today. That's exactly right. Yeah. And I think that's you know Matrix. If you look at what Matrix has done, and Matrix is the, the core management engine in, in cloud system, it was really one of the first products that attempted to, to do that. Right. And you know, again, I've been around a lot of management software efforts that you know had big plans and didn't deliver. Well, we got a thousand customers using that right now, so it's got some significant stick time out in the field. And 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 what you will see, and I won't you know tell the whole story now because I don't want to.
to do the product launch here yet on the Cube, but before too long, you will see some things coming out of our group uh, that will you know, take that experience to an entirely new level, and OpenStack is a key component of that. Well, we've right. certainly been digging in. We've heard some rumors we won't report until we got full confirmation, <laughs> but uh, we're hearing code words and, and some cool stuff. Yeah. But this comes down into the data center of the future, so one of the things I want to ask you is that, to me, this is a mandate. Making you the SVP GM is Donatelli's mandate. Look, it, convergence has to, is happening. Yes. And it might not look like it, what it was two years ago. You've had that view from storage. Um, the data center requires lower footprint, higher, lower density, higher performance. Yeah. Now you got managed cloud. So Amazon has certainly played the public cloud uh, play. You guys are a value cloud. So as you go in the market with the channel and your resources, you got HP at your disposal in terms of resource. Um, how are you going to cobble together that value cloud? What's your, what's your vision on that? Well, I have a, uh, a, a critical partner, a peer of mine, his name's Sar Gulai, and I don't know if you've heard He's him coming on later him. today. Yeah. Okay, so Sar is he's, he's, a, he's a personal friend, and he's also a great partner, and he's responsible for a converged cloud at HP, right? And that includes the work that I'm doing with cloud system. It also includes the HP cloud. It includes a lot of this work around OpenStack. So he's got a pretty big job. And, you know, if we can bring together those resources where we all do our part uh, in a way that's, you know, that is seamless, in terms of the presentation of the customer, there's an awful lot you know, we can do that, you know, frankly, I don't know anybody else that can, can, can do what we're trying to accomplish there. I, I think the other part of it is, you know, it, is, it isn't just about HP's own cloud. We have a partner network out there, both in channel partners, but also in service providers. You, you, you'll recall that with 3PAR, you know, we did a great job, you know, working with, uh, with those service providers. They were our, our first and best customers for 3PAR. Well, we've, off of that experience, we built something called Cloud Agile. And Cloud Agile is a program where we work with, you know, even you know, competitive, you know, cloud service providers to, to what we do internally. And you know, they use our technology. We we arm them, and you know, they do unique things. And we go partner with them in the field. We do call marketing. We do sell, go selling. We help them get more business on their cloud. I have the uh, three part red herring on my desk in my, back in the office in Marlboro. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And I read it, uh, I go to it every now and then, and it's all about utility computing. That yeah. was the parlance of the day back then. Yeah, it was. That's right. And yeah. Tom, I, I kind of like the execution cadence that HP has around Discover. You got you know, your June Discover in the US, and you've got something either in the you know, November, December time frame yeah, in, December, in Europe. Right. And it seems like you guys are put pressure on yourself to make innovations you know, for those events. Yes. Uh, so, I know you're new, and you'll only be in, you know, let's say, six months, but thinking ahead six months, and maybe even a year ahead, what are the things that observers should be looking for in terms of milestones and progress that, that you're making in, in your group? Well, uh, you, know, you hit it on the head. So, um, that time frame, Discover in December, we want to have a, you know, a big, big bang here. So we're six weeks into this, we'll be six months into it at that point. You can expect us to have a very strong presence at, at, at Discover in, in, in December and a lot of great stuff to talk about. So basically the, the, the description I just gave you, a lot of that we want to have come true in that time frame. The other thing to watch is that you'll start to see pieces of this management uh, vision uh, come out you know, over that time frame and through, the, through, through next year. So that's probably the thing I'm most excited about. Um, is starting to be able to go out and tell that story and get some feedback. Well, it is In fact, exciting. here at this event, we have an NDA lab, and if customers want to sign an NDA, they can get some, a, a sneak peek at some of what we're doing in that area, which is really pretty exciting. Get some visibility on that. I mean, it is exciting because people watch, they look at, look, they look at the hyperscale guys, and they kind of salivate at the levels of automation they can, they can achieve, but they're looking for people, technology companies like HP to come in and, and actually solve those problems because yeah. they don't have PhDs running around, and, and you guys are, I think, filling that gap. And the other th thing we're hearing a lot is, some of the hyperscale guys are saying, all right, this scale out thing, you can only take it so far. You know, yeah. it's, it's getting really expensive. You know, they're spending a billion dollars a year on CapEx and yeah. Wall Street is squeezing them a little bit. And so there's things we can learn from hyperscale, things you, you know, that, that enterprise customers are looking to adopt, but they don't have the resources, that's what they look to you. Yeah, you know, hyperscale is real, but you know, again, it does come down to management technology and federated management technology in particular. You know, some things we do have now in the market are, are things like we have a, a cluster management utility for Hadoop, and it's, it's designed to do that, to manage a, a cluster of thousands and thousands of nodes. And that's a piece part that will be you know, fundamental to a lot of this converged infrastructure work we're doing and the converged management that I, that I kind of talked about. So yeah, it does come down to real IP innovation. You got to people doing, have people doing hardcore engineering 
uh, on some of these difficult problems. And you know, HP is a company that's got a legacy of doing that kind of innovation, and it's fun to be a part of. To be honest with you. My final question. I know we got time uh, crunch here, so I want to get one final question. Just quickly summarize. SAR's role and your role, just for the folks out there, we're going to separate this. He's got Converge Cloud, you yeah. have Cloud System. What does right. that mean? Well, what it really means is, so we're building the cloud system, uh, the EG Enterprise Group cloud system, server storage, networking, matrix software, the, the software wrapper around that. You know, that has to work with um, our HP cloud. It has to work with the tools and software that we're building in HP software, like uh, cloud services automation and uh, many of the capabilities that they have. And so uh, on one level, he's got a, a, cha a governance role. He says, let's make this all work together. On the other hand, he's got a set of brilliant uh, architects, including himself. So he's leading the OpenStack effort. He's leading the OpenStack effort, and so he's he's a partner and frankly a supplier. So yeah. that o Cloud OS OpenStack and kernel, by a customer too. You know, we use that, and you know, so we work yeah. with him to make sure that you know, he's building things that we can use and vice versa. But um, you know, right, he's, he's a customer, as you just say, he, right? He's customer, a customer supplier. He's uh, kind of bi-directional. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so you know the thing is, when you're in a company of this size, uh, you need you need people like that can can think about the architecture globally, so folks like me can go do our job and execute stuff. So you're basically going to take Donatelli's tool toolbox, yeah. storage, networking, and servers, and make it cloud. That's correct. And yeah. then give that to SAR for him to sell, productize, uh, where he renders cloud. Yeah, make it part of the whole HP cloud yeah. effort. Yeah. You know, ideally, you want to have one face to the outside yeah. world and. We're all working together, and SARS is a really key partner. In awesome. Well, but don't say, don't tell him I said some <laughs> nice stuff about him. You know, yeah, right? we'll, so I'll keep the pressure on. Him. We'll make some stuff up. No, right. no, we won't. Congratulations, Tom. Really, Dave and I were both last night. I'm super excited for you personally because you're a um, high-class individual, high integrity, uh, great executive, and, and hey, we've been following your career. You've done some great work, and now well, you, that you guys <laughs> have been, uh, you know, great friends uh, in and out of the cube, and um, you know, I, I really look forward to uh, your future success and anything we can yeah. do to help. So right. thank you. I very appreciate much. the support. Good luck, and we'll be following you. You know, need anything, cube time? Let us know. Great mission. This is what it's all about. Software-led infrastructure, we heard it yesterday with storage, the three part, the success, the profitability, is leading the way in this transformation. Tom Joyce here, Senior Vice President, General Manager of Cloud Systems Group now, really taking on a new role, changing the game, congratulations. We'll be right back with our next guest here inside theCUBE after this short break.